Why you got that Budweiser hat on? You anti-America? Anti-America? You hate America first? No, I I saw it sitting back there, and I've seen all the uh, Budweiser hate from certain parts of the My God, man. population. And I was like, oh, you know what? They were nice enough to send us a hat. Maybe I could be a spokesperson. Well, get they my weren't. Own, I bought that. Get my own can. Oh, you you b- send us one? You bought this? I bought it on vacation one year. It's been you had it ever since. Oh, I didn't know you bought it. I just assumed all those hats. You didn't buy that uh, uh, hardware store one. Right? No, or the I Mountain bought the Dew Budweiser. One. Hat. Okay, so... Crazy me, I thought maybe all those hats sitting over there were things that showed up at work. I didn't no, know you they bought didn't. it. Well, you bought it, so you obviously support them, before. too. Before. Oh, They started before. with their nonsense. But you're, no, no, the nonsense in your mind is that you didn't get your own commemorative can, and she Well, did. I should have gotten a commemorative can, right. but... That's all you're worried about, is the fact that she got one before you did. Uh, Donald Trump, you guys remember him? <laughs> Coronado says, uh, Slim looks like he's the mayor of the Cape. Yeah, <laughs> it's Cape, guys, not the Cape. <laughs> oh, okay, um, sure. You guys remember Donald Trump, that guy? Who? Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Donald R. Trump. J. J. I believe. There's an R in there, too, but he dropped it. There's Donald not. J. Trump is... Uh, there is? Upset. No, there's not. That Pence has to testify. Michael Pence P. Is, Pence. Yeah. Th- Michael P. Pence. That's right. Michael J. Pence. He's <laughs> obsessed... Or, sorry, upset that uh, Mike Pence has agreed or says that at least he won't fight this... Uh, I don't know. Is it a... When they're just testifying subpoena? like this, yeah, is it actual subpoena? Or well, they could subpoena him. Yeah, he did fight a subpoena at one point. Yeah, but he says he won't fight this one, and he will. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like he's saying he'll <clears throat> testify about this January 6th stuff they want to ask him, and Trump's not happy, so now Trump is going to try and block it. Experts, those would be the people who get on TV and I listen to, they say uh, Trump's chances are pretty slim of being able to block this. Former Vice President Mike Pence has been subpoenaed to testify before the grand jury investigating the allegations. But according to a source familiar with the litigation, Trump is now seeking to block Pence from doing that. We are living in the era of witnesses being called before grand juries when we already know everything they've ever talked about. There is a Pence book. There is plenty of information out there. Last summer, the January 6th committee gave us not only uh, information about what happened on January 6th, but testimony from everybody on down the chain of command. I feel like, generally speaking, we have a pretty good bead on anything Pence would say. I gotta say, I think there it's it's safe to say mm-hmm. that I would not be sitting here today if it weren't for, for Michael J. Pence. If it weren't for Mike Pence's book, I think that book saved my life. <laughs> you guys? No, I didn't read it. <clears throat> I haven't read it either. Oh. But it's on your list. I I've heard you talk about it many times. So help me God. Yeah. Was that what it's called? Yeah. It's no, good. it's not. Yes, it is. So help me God. No, it's not. That's the name of the book. Come on, man. Michael J. Pence. So help me God. You, I, I've read it like six times. It completely changed my the life. I've talked to you about it over it. and He's over and over non-stop. again. Yeah. You never listen. He read. I mean, he actually it read for the so audiobook. God. I brought you copies of it. He read for the audiobook. You can get four to and a half stars. Voice. Yeah, because it's good. Of course, I've created a lot of accounts to write a lot of reviews. <laughs> but I wanted to get those stars up, baby. It deserves it. Says it's good Mike stuff. Pence, loyal to God and Trump. Yep, and I'm loyal to See, him. my thing is, like, liberals are starting to get kind of excited. Like, oh, Mike Pence is going to testify. Yeah. But maybe he's going in there like he's loyal to God and Trump and thinks he's doing God's work by helping Trump. And lying for him? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Could be. Maybe he goes in there, everybody's like, oh, he's going to, you know, because we get all excited. Trump does that all the time. Yeah. He's really good at it. And we get excited, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, no, that went horribly wrong. Yeah, nothing happened. Not to mention, <laughs> you would think like, oh, well, uh, Pence has got to go against him because they were outside the Capitol right, talking about killing that. him. Yeah, but Ted Cruz canvassed for Trump after he called yeah. his wife ugly. So it doesn't mean anything just because he went after Pence and said kill Pence and hang Pence and whatever he's, you know. He's been trying chanting. to distance himself, but. Yeah, because he's running for president. Well, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I, we'll see what he says. If he know. says anything. I just think Trump's there's a good chance, popular. right? No, there's definitely a good chance. That he, he goes in there and says, nothing happened. Kiss the ring. I mean, DeSantis is running for president, too, and you saw what he did. Like, I won't extradite Trump. We're yeah. not going to work with you. I'm like, scared too. of him. Yeah. He's, but they're still throwing shots about, you know, I don't know anything about porn stars and payments. Right. And he's trying. You're trying he's to do both things. You tread lightly yeah. there, old cowboy boots. I don't know what you Well, you're done. <laughs> he's you done. You're yeah, out. Like, over. Yeah. He uh, destroyed you. Mm-hmm. I hope if our friend Howie is listening, I really hope that he will just pause, turn the station for a minute. I think Sputnik Radio is still on AM if you want to tune into that. Cause I, the facts. I, I, I did want to talk about the update on this abortion thing. Oh, well, come with, on, man. You Texas. don't know what you're talking about. Well, listen, I'll just play the clip, and I'll just I'll tell you the headline. It says that the Department of Justice has asked appeals court to pause extraordinary, that's their words, 
abortion pill ruling. They're asking for a pause so we can keep everything the same. Who's asking for, for now? The Department of Justice. Keep everything the same for now until there's a ruling. Is that the, the DOJ? Court. The DOJ. Yeah, the DOJ. Dodge. That's <laughs> what most people say. Right, Dodge, Dodge or Doge, it depends on who you're talking to. Got an accent or whatever. I mentioned there's two rulings. One is in Texas. One is in Washington State. They're in conflict. The one in Texas has now gone up to appeal the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. And the issue right now is whether there should be a stay issued, a pause, exactly. while all the legal mumbo-jumbo yeah. goes on and, and the final answer is reached. Exactly. The Justice right. Department basically just <laughs> wants to That's what Howard says forward. we should be listening to. Just to keep everything yeah. in status quo the as it exists legal right mumbo -jumbo. in this moment. And the Fifth Circuit has essentially said, let's hear from the plaintiffs, the anti-abortion groups and doctors that brought this lawsuit before we rule. We want to hear from them. So watch for that response to come late tonight, by midnight. So the DOJ says, hey, please just keep it the same for now. And the appeals court says, all right, well, let us hear from the plaintiffs and then we'll decide whether or not we can keep things the same for right now. By the way, those two conflicting rulings, the one in Texas and the one in Washington. The one in Texas affects everyone, all states. So that's like a national ruling. The one in Washington only affected the states that were a part of that particular lawsuit. And I think there were there were blue states, like a handful sure. of them, like 12 states, something like that. They were part of that lawsuit. The, the federal judge in Texas, his ruling apparently is right. good for the whole, <clears throat> all 50 of them. So now you got to wait and see what the uh, appeals court says. The whole Howie, abortion thing this is so stupid. So stupid, and the fact that it's just a perfect example of things that Republicans uh, say they hate until they want to do it. I mean, it's just, you know, of course. Look, man, just leave it up to women. Right. Look, That's the I first hate thing. It. Look, I, I mean, it, it, you know, there are some things that I'd like to be able to happen. One of them is if I get someone pregnant and they want to have the baby, I should be able to opt out. Yeah. Just like a spam filter. Like, yo, I want you to know going in that we have options. And, I've and the option out. that you've decided to take, which is to have this child, I'd like to opt out. Yep. Legally, I'm out. I feel like that should be, I get it. I lose all power. All right, rights. but I don't get to tell you what to do yep. because it's your body. Yep. But I do get to tell you what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is nothing. I opt out. Right? But I don't think I could be like, hey, that's half my kid too, so you have to have the baby, then you can opt out. Right, no. That's not fair. No. I could just opt out beforehand. But we that's can't, it. We can't get there until we get back to right. abortion being and, health, safe, right. available. And then we just have to realize that, you know what? Women give birth. Yeah. So they, sometimes life isn't fair. They get to decide. Like it's really not. They what get does Laz always say? Not everybody gets to do everything. Right. So, you know, women, they get to give birth, so it's, they get to decide. Yep. We're better at sports, so we get paid more money if we go pro. Yep. That's just the way it is. Yeah. I don't want to argue with you about it. it unfortunately, it is. Yeah. Right. When you can start scoring 20 a night in the paint or throwing 100-mile-an-hour fastballs, get in there, baby. And when I can start having babies, yeah. then, I, you know, you can make I'll decisions. make a decision. But until then... It is what it is. And there's all this talk, too. I see them on signs a lot. Abortion is health care. It is health care. Of course it is. And I see these doctors testifying to judges like, oh, my God, you don't know what you're talking about. First of all, you know, th these are the things that can happen. And also, no, there's no viable fuse at this point. You know, just the misinformation because people don't know. They have no idea what they're talking about. Like no. Plan B, you know, thinking that Plan B is somehow an abortion pill. I, which, that's just mm. one example of the hundreds of thousands. I don't know how thousands. it works, but I do leave it as a parting gift. I just ran out. So now with all this stuff, I'm like, God, can I go get more of it? Because I stockpiled yeah, after Roe v. Wade, but I just ran out. And now I'm thinking, I mean, I because I take it, obviously. I don't know if that works, but, uh, you know, my body, my choice, right? It does make me feel a little funny. <laughs> do whatever you want. I, I do get a little m moody afterwards, but I, I don't yeah, know. I told I you, like Jeter young. left, you know, signed pictures of himself and autographed baseballs. I like to leave, you know, a go pack, a white claw, and a plan B. Yeah. In a little basket. Take, take that with you. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think. Take that with you. The six-year-old who shot the teacher, remember that story? And she's suing the school saying, mm -hmm. why didn't you take the gun away from him? And whenever we talk about these stories, it seems like we always say, uh, is someone getting in trouble for the kid getting the gun? how the kid get the gun? Is that person going right. to be charged with something? And then we never hear anything about mm -hmm. it. Hey, guess what? What? The mother of this six-year-old has been charged with a felony. Okay. And a misdemeanor, I think. More than three months after first grade teacher Abigail Zwarner was shot by her six-year-old student in class, the mother of that young boy has now been criminally charged. A Newport News grand jury indicting 25-year-old Deja Taylor on one count of felony child neglect and one misdemeanor count of recklessly leaving a loaded firearm so as to endanger a child. Yeah, recklessly leaving a loaded firearm 
so as to dangerous whatever she said in danger he said endanger a child i guess mm-hmm. that did he say that's a misdemeanor hold on i got to Listen to the end of the Taylor, video. on one count of felony child neglect felony. and one misdemeanor count misdemeanor. of recklessly leaving a loaded firearm so as to endanger a child. I mean, it's something, but a misdemeanor? I feel like if you leave a loaded gun out where a kid can get a hold of it, it should be more than a misdemeanor. But hey, yeah, of course. at least it's something because we've seen way too many of these. And I know a lot of times people will say when we've talked about it on the air, I'll have people message me or talk to me and say, well, you know, you guys always talk about how... Someone should get in trouble. You know, a kid got a hold of a gun, <clears throat> shot his sibling, whatever. The parents should get in trouble. Well, the parents already got in trouble. They lost their child. You know, no, no, no. no. That's not punishment. Mm. That's not the punishment. The law has to be involved right. too. You can't just say, well, you know, you've really had a rough go of it. So, look, I mean, if you get a DUI and you kill people, I'm guessing there's a chance, at least, I would hope, that you are extremely remorseful, that you feel terrible about it, that you think I never want to sure. drink another day in my life, but you still got to get in trouble. Yeah, that's just how it works. Sorry, folks. Um, oh, we already talked about the Dalai Lama, so I do want to talk about this AI thing. You want to suck my tongue? No. I want to talk about the Rude. AI thing. Rude. That's not... We did. Also, that wasn't a question. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll do that after this. AI. It's all anybody's talking about. You can get chips in your head sure. that, that'll make you smart yeah. as AI so that we can finally compete with chat GPT because sure. it's taking our jobs. I mean, that's just... If you do data entry, anything with the... Uh, well, what, what's that thing on Microsoft Office with the graphs and the charts? Excel. Excel. Mm-hmm. I just think uh, people using that, I see them, I'm like, you better learn something else. Sure. You better learn something else. I feel like chat GPT's got that figured out or going to have it figured out real soon. But now, some of the good stuff. You know, a lot of it's scary, but then there's the good stuff. We knew that ChatGPT can create, hell, it already created a movie, a sci-fi movie, like a 10-minute movie. Mm. I saw that last week. It can create images like Donald Trump being arrested right. or the Pope wearing a puffy jacket. I saw the gods of every state. Yes, I me too. That. I thought yeah. that was interesting. Missouri's yeah. was like a, looked like it should have been Iowa's though because it was like a corn. He looked like some sort of. I don't remember. Yeah, you <clears> didn't look at Missouri, of course. You just focused on Kansas and Michigan and Florida, yeah. I'm sure. Well, anyhow. Uh, AI can do all these things. Now it can. We already knew that it sort of could, but it seems like it's getting good at it now. It can mimic voices of dead people. I mean, it can mimic anyone's voice. Mm. It just needs some audio of it. So this brings a question. Okay, we've had some similar things in the past. We've had dead people in movies. Uh, Peter you guys Cushing just or whatever keep me on was. the air after I die. Exactly. Or you could just Smart. not come into work and take some time off and your voice is on the air. Smart. That's what I'm thinking. Smart. Vacation time and our Smart. bosses are like, they're here. But they watch us on Twitch. Which we can also generate with AI because it's making sci-fi movies. Why can't yeah, it make a video of us right. talking? Hey, guys, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. Maybe we already have been. But we're in Florida drinking. Don't know that that's, you don't know this is me. Drinking yeah. Yoo-Hoo by the beach. Exactly. This could be, <laughs> this could be totally beach. fake. We, Yoo-Hoo by the beach sounds heavy. Yeah, it does. Well, it doesn't, I Yoo-Hoo prefer doesn't sound Yoo-Hoo. refreshing. Oh, see, it's I think too it's hot. Chocolate. Milk is a bad choice. No, 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 yeah, no but it's, it's not hot. milk. That's why you go Yoo-Hoo. No, but it's Cho- still thick. And it's still, yeah. It's a fine product. <laughs> I, I like Yoo-Hoo. I'm just saying, and <laughs> at a hot beach, it seems... Seems unnecessary. Yeah. If, and maybe also, you know, maybe a little bit irritating to the stomach. Yeah, give me a black whoa, whoa, cherry whoa, tall girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Irritating to the stomach. I'm Because it's hot to, out. It's hot. Yeah, yeah it's like I'm going to need some evidence. I'm going to need you to try it in the heat. And no, tell like maybe a tonic water would be nice. Hey, that's fine. I'm not forcing you to drink it, but don't, you know, defend. We're saying hot milk at the beach. Yeah. If I there's any you who listeners out there that work at the factory or deliver the stuff, I do like Yoo-Hoo. Just love me too. Cases. I like strawberry Man, Yoo-Hoo the best. Is good. I haven't had I, strawberry Yoo-Hoo. It's delicious. It sounds good. I'm old enough I should be able to get into that strawberry stuff. My brother loves strawberry Nesquik and all that. Everything. I never could deal with it. I do it. like strawberry milk, anything. Yeah. I should give it another shot. Well, anyway, so now AI is good at this. So I'll give you the example that they played in this clip. You, Edward Herman, you may not know the name, but you definitely know who he is. Edward oh. Herman... He used to. He was in Lost Boys. He was the the guy yeah. who turned out to be a vampire. He's been in a ton of movies. He was the yeah. spokesperson for Dodge all throughout the yeah, '90s. Of course. If you just Google him, I'm saying you'll recognize I, I know him. Who but he is. Not, oh, you do. I don't know. need okay. to Google him. So anyway, Edward Herman. He was in some sitcoms that I didn't watch. Edward Herman was also a voice uh, narrator. He did audio books. Okay. Well, now he's he's passed away. Passed away a few years ago. And to show, there's several companies that are using this AI technology to come up with these voices. And one of these companies has shown some of their technology off, and they used Edward Herman's voice. So they play a clip from a book that he read. It sounds like it was about mm-hmm. Thomas Jefferson. Sure. And that's that he, you know, actually him alive that's on tape. And mm-hmm. then they have AI listen to his voice, and it's not listening to that section. It's just listen to tons of his voice, and then mm-hmm. they type in what to say. And you can hear how similar, I mean, it sounds like him. Tonight, the next frontier for AI audiobook narration meaning celebrities can now offer their voice services from beyond the grave. The Wall Street Journal reporting companies like Deep Zen are taking real voices Mm -hmm. of actors and narrators and using AI to create new content with synthetic voices that sound like the real thing. Disorder, which Jefferson hated. 
threatened harmony, which he loved. And here is Edwards' synthetic voice. Disorder, which Jefferson hated, threatened harmony, which he loved. Whoa! That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. What? Well, that was good. What are you no, it was good, but it was, it was different, for sure. Yeah, the right. inflection's slightly different because, you know... It sounded different. I mean, it sounded but like him, him again. But it 100% it hit, it sounded like his voice. It did, just, yeah. It just, it just sounded like he did different. another take. You're I just not, wasn't as impressed as you were, I guess. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not you saying that I could AI. do it better. I wasn't, I'm not, I just played again. I think AI nailed it. I don't played think you're smarter again. than AI. That sound like the real thing. Disorder, which Jefferson you know hated. How low and gravelly that is? Threatened harmony, which he loved. And here is Edwards' synthetic voice. Disorder, yeah, way which higher. Jefferson hated. Threatened harmony. Which he loved. Yeah, it sounded a little computery. It just it sounds it's like way higher. Take. It's right. computery. Sound a little computery. I don't have that gravel and that it grit. It just sounds like he did another take. No, no, no a it does Computery. I thought you joined his side. Well, after listening to it again, you know what? I'm not an asshole. With new information, I can Thank change you. my opinion. Thank I'm not you. saying. Welcome. I Imagine never said that. they were exactly being. the same. I'm not I AI. Just said it I can sounds actually like him. gather new information <laughs> and change my mind. I just said it sounds like him. Not really. Not really. Well, they're already using this technology, apparently, and it's coming, baby. So now we got to figure out who are those voices that we want to hear. I know I have mine, of course. Peter Thomas from Forensic Files. I'd like to hear. They, they tried bringing the show back. you got to get Peter Thomas AI voice if that show is going to work. But mm -hmm. then how does this work? Now everyone's going to have to leave something behind in their will. These voice people and everyone else that says, can you use my voice? They've already tried it with movies. You know, who owns the estate? Can they put a dead person in a movie with CGI? Sure. And, they, and the other thing about those dead people in movies up until now, they've reconstructed their faces. Dead people have no rights. I kind of feel the same way. They don't care. They don't. They're dead. By the way, they have no rights. And they don't care. You're dead. You they, don't have any they rights. They don't know anything. They don't care. But up until now, they've had people, voice actors, mimic those voices. And while CGI created the face, now they can use yeah. AI to do the voice and AI to create the person. This is great. Arnold Schwarzenegger will be the biggest action star again. And, and The Who? Rock, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. He'll come back. We'll get, you know, he's a dead? million predators. No, he's just old. He's not doing movies oh, anymore. Oh, I see. He'll be young again, and he'll be, you know, I see doing Terminators saying. for the rest of his life. We, whoever you want. I mean, who would you like to see? Who's that voice person that you'd like to have back? Someday we're going to lose Morgan Freeman, and that's a horrible thought, to lose that voice. Yeah. And now, hopefully, he's already signed something somewhere that says, yeah, of course you can stuff. use my voice. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, if there's a lawyer listening, maybe a, a lawyer who also sells you who. If there's a lawyer listening who can tell us how to sign that paperwork, we will sign it because I think we should... Leave no the option for our, our company is going to want our voice. No, they're not. Yes, they are. You don't know that. It's and kind for of a fairly know, good idea. Radio Sputnik might want it. Like, hey, guess who came they over to our side? They barely signed us to contracts this time. Listen. I don't think they want them when we're dead. Lazlo, although we'd be less of a problem. You sound like Howie now. We're, we're doing good. We're increasing market I mean, we are market doing good. Share. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, I don't know that we're doing so good that they want us when we're dead. Look, if it costs millions of dollars, obviously I don't think so. But if they can just say, oh, they signed the paperwork, then they're going to say, get it done. Put them on the air, boys. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, don't, and cover up their deaths. Make sure no one knows that they're dead. I want video of them up there. Mm -hmm. I want them talking about topical things mm -hmm. and pronto. And I'll just put in my will, like, could you just make my skin a little clear and just you know, maybe get rid of my oh, pot belly on, a little bit? You don't what? Need to do that. I'm just saying, just a few little You're things beautiful. here. Snow Cone's worried about his hair. He's got the slightest receding hairline. It's nothing to slightest. worry about. It's slight. Hey, I think you look good, but it's a legit receding hairline. It's a slight one. You worry about your uh, yeah, thin I got hair a thing in the back. Here, but it ain't slight. You can't even see it. Your hair covers. I got a up. hat on. But, but you know what? Well, I, yeah, that's true. I can't see it now. But even mm. without that, you can't see it. But if those things bother you, then just touch them up. That's all I'm saying. We ran out of time again. Oh boy.